And just like that, we are back, welcoming you back to this beautiful bayfront here in Singapore. Back as the Asia Cup returns to where it started. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice in your ear. It's been a beautiful day of 3x3 action as we've been uh, going through the qualifying draw. The first two days, that's what, uh, what we will be settling before we get to the third day, which, when, uh, which is when we will head into the main draw. We still got seven games left on the schedule. Wow. Women's qualifying draw E action will continue. And uh, we'll be finally settled. We'll uh, get to Turkmenistan and, Pap and Papua New Guinea. They'll be coming up next. And after that game, we'll be seeing Guam and Kazakhstan wrap up qualifying draw E. Turkmenistan unbeaten. They, uh, they've got an edge and control their own destiny. All they need is a win against uh, Papua New Guinea, and they will be the team coming out of their qualifying draw. Meantime, on the men's side, we're going to see action in qualifying draw A, Japan and Iraq. Qualifying draw B, Chinese Taipei and Thailand are on deck. Qualifying draw D, New Zealand will make their debut today against Saudi Arabia. Uh, after that, we'll see Qatar and Kyrgyzstan in qualifying draw G. In qualifying draw I, we're going to see Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan to close the day. So that's what the schedule looks like the rest of the way. Nobody had been able to stop these ladies to this point. Turkmenistan come in unbeaten. They picked up a 21 to 14 win over Guam. Then they beat up on Kazakhstan 21 to 10. 2-0 to, to lead that group of four. And only one slot, one slot available as they look menacing. Nobody's been able to handle Anya. Gokova, Leila Halilova. I mentioned her age earlier, and uh, I think I, I said 31. She says, don't you know I stopped counting at 18? She's right. Uh, Halilova is 18 years old. If she says it, then that's what I'm sticking to. I don't want to make her mad. She might cross me over. I don't I don't think I want that. Uh, meantime, their competition will enter the court now. New Guinea still looking for their first victory. They suffered a 9 to 20 loss to Guam and then a 5 to 17 loss to Kazakhstan. They would love nothing more than to come out of this place uh, with a win. That's going to be easier said than done, though. Marsa, Leah, Murray, Rosa, Lausi, Kyrie, Norma Lisa, Michelle, Dobonaba, and Betty Angula. This is their four lady crew coming out in the all red playing with pride we'll see if they can mix things up and maybe uh, pull off a shocker here we'll see I don't know uh, like I said Turkmenistan is, is, uh, is a problem they are an absolute machine right now and uh, they've been a class of the women's field today I would I would have to say come out with new look in this one all white uniforms but uh, we saw the men's PNG team really put on the show. Nearly, nearly pulled off a win against Kazakhstan. They ended up giving up a five-point lead and lost it in the end. So we're going to find out if the ladies are our game. Maybe they can earn that, that one victory for the country. Uh, before they head back home, they will not likely be heading to day three. Obviously, again, Turkmenistan, they control their own destiny. Let's take the ball. Okay, I won't start. Leila Halilova and Anya Gokova have been uh, leading the way. But I don't want to sleep on uh, Heidi Drova. Heidi Drova has been shooting the ball really well on this Turkmenistan team. And how about Azizova really making her impact felt on the inside. It's been all over the offensive glass, making those glue plays that keep a team together. You got a dominant force in Gokova. You got a lights out shooter in Halilova. You got someone who could penetrate and really disrupt the defense on the interior with uh, Haidirova. 
and you got a complete package. Not a shock to see them unbeaten to this point. And again, they will uh, they will be headed to the main draw for sure with a victory here. Qualifying draw E. They'll join Sri Lanka and Chinese Taipei in Pool D. The main draw that will start day three. We start the final stretch right now. Did I wake you up with that? I hope so. All right. It's time to get back to it. As Turkmenistan will start with the Rock. They'll try to make quick work of this uh, Papua New Guinea team as the sun is starting to go down. You're going to get to see Singapore at night. Off the iron it goes. Kyrie he's trying to use that muscle as well. That's out of bounds over to White. Just scratching the surface here. 840. Qualifying draw E action for the ladies. No, oh, it's ladies night. And the feel is right. Nope. The feel wasn't right on that release. Halilova. Down to the post office. And Gula. Oh, nice dish. And it's finished. So out that dish, it was Kyrie on the score. And Papua New Guinea have an early advantage over the heavy favorites, Turkmenistan.
Angula making her move. Same thing, different play. Driving hard to the right. Trying to move some folks out of the way and get a score. Just coming to set the screen, almost turn that over. Instead to the post. Oh. Took too long. Shot clock violation, 12 second shot clocks. 10 minute sprint to 21. Hydrova is trying to uh, set up the two woman game with Izzy's over. A push on the defense, so a couple of fouls on PNG. Izzy's over. She's gone. Quick step to the right. Catch the Vapors as it's tied up to a piece. Kyrie now. Oh, that's a tough drive. Too strong on the shot. Quick kick out. Heidi Rova. Now she's going to go to the left, to the left. 3-2. Oh, Angula behind the back sauce. It is blocked. Angula. Oh, another nice dish. She got all kinds of variations. She's got Indian dishes. She's got New Guinea dishes. She's got Polynesian dishes. Let's see what she got this time. Uh, in and out. Whoa. Angula. Checks it up top of the key. 12 to work with, lets the two fly. Wet business. 5-3, Papua New Guinea over Turkmenistan. Heidi Rova kicks it out. Holly Lova, couldn't get that one to go. Holly Lova holds.
back to Angola. Angola. Know where to go with it. Kyrie on the cut. That Wilson is back over to Turkmenistan. We're moving it around. Gokova. Drive, kick, highly lower. Missed it to the right. Long rebound goes to Red. Papua New Guinea on the attack. Kyrie recovers it, flips it up over her shoulder. That shot is a miss. Murray. And Gula wants to rock in the paint. Oh, and Gula trying another no look pass. I don't, I don't think she's thrown a pass today that has not been no look. Nice dishes. They have not uh, amounted to wins. Ozzy's over, highly lower, flicks the wrist. No. Ozzy's over, pushed on the shot attempt. That's number seven on Papua New Guinea. Couple more free throws to follow for Turkmenistan. Still look to put icing on the cake of what has been a pretty sweet day for them. They've been playing some good 3x3. Oh, Ozzy's over. Missed chance at the strike. Second of two, upcoming here, and it is also no good, but it is good to have Gokova on your team. The six foot two Titan really causes havoc on those that, the glass, and when you get it to her in the post, uh, that's pretty much all she wrote. 13 to 8 as we go into another TV timeout. 3.52 left in this one. See some of the moving pictures from this contest so far. Heidi Rova finding her touch from distance. Now Gokova will try to find her touch from the line. Gokova, good like grandma's cookies. Back to a six point advantage. And their 15th point will come at the strike. Two for two. Kyrie splitting the defense. Oh, little touch. Uh, kiss off the glass. So we've seen flashes of some exciting play for PNG. That's all they've been is flashes. Driving the kick as he's over. Right past the defense. Oh, but she blew the crib. Three and a half to go. Quick move, steps through with the left. It's a miss. So Holly Lova and company are on the attack. Gokova waiting for some contact. She goes down to get that loose ball. She's trying to come away with it, but that is a three in the key call. Angola trying it from the deep end. She short-armed it. Gokova fouled hard. And she ain't feeling too friendly there with Angula. She's checking her wrist bone. Six-point advantage pending. These free throw takes right here, Gokova. Gets her team within five points of sprinting to the main draw. Joining pool D. And she's good. Murray had a look. Angula trying at mid-range. Off the iron it rolls. Holly Lova. She'll sprint to the two-point line. Quickly cleared. Gets it back. Over to Gokova. Gokova says, I don't, don't want to post. I'm just doing mid-range jumpers. I'm sick of this contact. Nice shovel pass. Set the table beautifully. 
There's Gokova. Eighteen ten. Gula, nowhere to go. Ran out of time. Shot clock violation. 2.18 left. As time is running out on Papua New Guinea as well. And Gula is checking out. Holly Lova. The scoop de do. 19.10. Murray, oh, that's some nice passing. Leads to the score underneath. Dobunaba, after the layup, she's going to set up in the corner. Dobunaba wants the rock. Instead, it's Kyrie. Holly Lova doing a dribble and drill. All 18 years old that she is. Oh, nice D underneath. Got to get a shot up with the horn coming. Oh. She hit it at the bell, and that is it. The final horn sounds, and that will be the last sound that PNG hears here in Singapore. 21 to 11, Turkmenistan will earn their way into the main draw. They do it unscathed. Qualifying draw E has been decided. Turkmenistan will join Chinese Taipei and Sri Lanka, and they'll be playing again on day three. They'll Get some rest tomorrow. Of course, we uh, do have some unfinished business in the group, but it won't matter because, again, Turkmenistan goes undefeated. Uh, so that is that. Kazakhstan and Guam will play next. But neither one of those teams could uh, obviously leapfrog Turkmenistan. And coming out of qualified draw, E. So Guam and Kazakhstan, both victims of Turkmenistan, they'll play for pride. We will show you the highlights of what started out to be maybe a little bit unsettling. If you are a Turkmenistan fan, you saw your team down by four points early. You probably like, what? What in the world? You saw Angula doing stuff like this, dish, dying. You were like, okay, wait a minute. They've been playing possum with us. And then you saw your team wake up. Uh, they woke up in a big way. 3-3 three, three at this point. And I think this is when Angula hit the two-piece no biscuit. Yes. Then uh, the, after the reverse miss, the shooting started to come on for Turkmenistan. Gokova sharing the rock, making sure everybody touches the cookie a little bit. And then once that snowball started rolling, it just got bigger and bigger and bigger for Turkmenistan. They erased that four-point deficit, tied the game. Next thing you know, they had blown the lead up to six. A runaway win for Turkmenistan. That, the final shot, the two-piece. Holly Lova, that's like a layup for her. Knocks it down from distance, and that is it. So both of those teams finished. Turkmenistan, again, they'll be heading to the main draw, Pool D. Linking up with Sri Lanka and Chinese Taipei. As Turkmenistan will be taking aim at another, at another medal. All right, this one, again, no, um, no implications for day three involved here. Just for fun, just for pride. but not a waste. I think Guam has really put on a, 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 a great show. They come out here and played hard. Giving us some highlights here. Day one, a couple of crossovers, and a lot of shots made. Alicia Anna Perez, she's that woman. There they are, a trio, not a quartet. There's no Mia Spate San Nicholas, but there is Kara Duenas. 
She's been playing well on this team. And Ma Maria Jean Santos Taitano. So for Guam, they started off with a seven point loss to Turkmenistan. They beat uh, PNG 20 to nine. So they split their two games. Their two and one record will be, be nice. But you gotta go unbeaten in this group with Turkmenistan, who again have topped both Guam and Kazakhstan and PNG. All right. Both teams are on the court. Here's Kazakhstan, who they took silver in the last edition. They won't be taking on any hardware this time around. Daria Karl Koroleva and Bezgoldova, Zelina Kurozova and Valeria Kapitinova. Oh, got to work on that coin flip. <laughs> All right, now we get to meet our officials before we officially get to it. There's Game Kim. He's, he's going to the lab on that coin flip. And Chun Wing Leon. Ten minutes on the game clock. I think both of these countries are still coming on. Kazakhstan has been uh, a perennial competitor. But it's hard to make it out of the qualifying draw. And that was that game against Turkmenistan was the deciding game. Had they won that one, I think, I mean, obviously this group would be a lot more interesting. And this game would have big implications on it. Because it could have potentially forced a, uh, a tie at the top of the group. And instead, again, uh, this game has no bearings. They play this, and their tournaments will come to an end. Still, still, still did their countries proud. Okay. Remember, we got 50 teams in competition out here. 50. Only five slots available in the main draw for the women's competition. Only nine for the men's. All right, countdowns on. I hear no Lazarus. So that's my cue. All right, it's on now. The last qualifying draw game in Group E. Expect some fireworks in this one. Both teams should play freely. Kazakhstan clearly uh, with the size advantage here over Guam. Uh, but got, Guam got shooters like the Dick Tracy movie. Perez. She puts that one up, too strong, touches nothing. She's laughing that off. She's like, I didn't know. Koroleva gives it up to get it back. Swings it over. Kurozova, that lefty off the Windex. Daitano, no, and they couldn't save it. So the ball will go over to green, Kazakhstan. You know, I got it. I've actually gone to Kazakhstan, and I'm not ashamed to admit that I didn't know that Kazakhstan was really uh, was really a country. This was years ago. That's that's thank you to Sasha Varenkov who made that movie Borat. He really had me thinking that Kazakhstan was a fictional place <laughs> until I went and I saw how incredible the city was of Astana, at least. Sprawling golden buildings, festive uh, community out there and city. I was, I was thoroughly impressed. I said, "Wow! Not only does does Kazakhstan exist, this is a really nice place." Never believe what you see in the movies, y'all. Uh, meantime, that was a nice pass. Besgadova with the setup. Here's Perez. She reroutes. And she left her lost in the sauce. Can you give me directions to where she went, please? Perez. She'll clear it. Taitano making her move. Uh, step back. She lets it go. It's still going. Six to one early lead for Kazakhstan. 
Kurozova. The release, no. Tipped over. Kapitinova couldn't hit it. It'll come back to her. Muscles another one up. That comes back again, and that was going to count. Plus the foul. It's another baby. Whoa. Look, if y'all mad at me for singing this late in the day, then y'all need to check yourselves. <laughs> I'm just having fun. Y'all know me by now, right? Uh, that's a miss underneath. Clearly. A clear look at two, and it's a miss as well. Duenas. That one's poked away up. It's going to be blue ball. Kirozova. The bronze medalist will open the possession. She'll get down to the baseline. She wants the ball. Oh, but it's a miss. Luckily for uh, for Koroleva, she able she was able to draw a whistle. Koroleva, a little strong on the free throw, finds his way back to her. Is over. Get out the way. Move. Seven point game. Kazakhstan. Pushing Guam around a little bit. Guam's only hope to make this thing interesting is to unleash the beast that they have, which is Perez and her two point shooting ability. Poked away, 2.4 seconds remain. There's Perez, gone with the win. Breezes by the defense. Told you, she's official. She don't need a whistle. Six point game. Little baseline, mid-ranger, no. Uh, but not a problem. Uh, that's a lot of height uh, down low. Don't worry about that. Bez Godova doing her thing like usual. Here's Perez. Picks up her dribble. That one's stolen away. And leads to another easy layup. Bez Godova makes it a 10-2 game. Got to give a clean check. And just a beautiful skyline here in Singapore off the Singapore River. Got the Arts and Science Museum. Just a couple uh, hundred yards from here. You, you can't miss it. It uh, looks like a lotus flower. The gardens by the bay. I got a chance to see that last night. And I told you earlier, Singapore is gorgeous during the daytime. At nighttime, it's, it's captivating, it's mind-blowing. What an incredible place, honestly. 10-2, spin move. Oh, the pirouette kept her balance, but she didn't keep the rock. The Wilson is now with Guam and Perez. Perez, she wants to give it up. That ball swung over, Taitano with the move. Forces it up late in the shot clock. And a TV timeout. Kazakhstan is halfway there in that sprint to 21. This will be our last women's game of the day. Yes. Not celebrating, I'm just confirming it in my head. I'm looking at the schedule. And yes. We'll go to qualifying draw A for the men. Then B for the men, then D, then G, then I. And that'll wrap the day 
Five more games remaining after this. They'll all be played on the men's side where we do have some unfinished business. Those, those main draw entries have not been decided. And again, we'll see uh, an entirely new field of teams in action tomorrow, trying to earn the remaining main draw slot. So again, first two days are all about the qualifying draw. That's a bump in a bucket. Get your weight up. Secure is over. Can make this a 12-2 game. And that she does. So if you if you're Guam here, just let loose. Just let loose. Ten point game. Get Perez the keys and let her put on a light show. Titano. Oh, ran out of time. That ball is stolen. Capitinova couldn't hit the crib. It's quickly cleared. Perez going to work from the corner. She wants to give it up. Duena has it poked away. That'll leave him with seven seconds on the shot clock to get something done. Screen is set. Daitano. Oh, gangster slap. I'm making an offer you can't refuse. All right, it's late. 12-2. <laughs> Strong drive. Okay. Kazakhstan keeping it coming. That uh, bucket courtesy of Daria Koroleva. Here's Perez doing her dance. Duenas, uh-uh. She's inspected and rejected. Cures over with the move. She says move over. That rebound to White. Titano pulls the trigger. It is a misfire. So Guam has have fallen flat offensively. And you wonder, well, I don't really wonder. The fact that this game has no implications on it probably has something to do with it. So Kazakhstan trying to get rid of them quick. Duenas lost the handle on the Wilson. She's going to give it up. Taitano inside the two-point line. That one is deflected, nearly turned over. Koroleva will track it down. She's got nine to shoot. No reason to rush it. Koroleva. Oh, what a pass. Oh, they ain't going to be friends after this. Got to finish those. If no Lazarus messed up a dime like that of mine, I would never speak to him again. I know it's looking at me crazy now. I was telling the truth. Duenas, no ma'am, not today. It is swatted. Curazova getting dizzy with it. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, 15 to two. Poked off, that might have went off of Perez's foot. What do you think? No. Two and a half seconds to shoot. Perez will have it. And I think she fell asleep on the shot clock. Yep. So TV timeout is we're under four minutes. 3.49 left. 15 to two this game. Well in hand for Kazakhstan. I don't think you have to worry about any comebacks in this one. Just too much size, too much strength on the inside. One through four. They are big sister in Guam. Koroleva kicks it. Kapitanova thought about the mid-range. Instead, she wants to go for a drive. Get some fresh air. 16 to 2. Perez pulls up. What a pass right there. Mishandled. Now Perez is going to pull the trigger. Koroleva, no. Long rebound to Kapitanova. Just over three minutes to play. Kapitanova going to the spin move. Off the front iron, it will go. 
Oh, Dwayne is splitting the defense. And that's going to get some cheers from the crowd. Who still want a, a competitive game, even though it doesn't exactly matter. It's inconsequential to the main draw. Nice pass in the set. Oh, she sold the bag twice. Good hustle. I like what I'm seeing from Kazakhstan. They're playing all the way to the final horn here. And it may not go the limit. They got 16. All they need is five to put this one away. 241 left. Perez cannot get free. Titana, she got her cookie snatched. I'll take that. You take this. 17-3. Kurozova with the thievery. She's a smooth criminal. She almost got away with a two, but instead it scored on the inside. Oh, lefty lay. Kapitinova with the stroke. Kazakhstan keying in on this win. Very likely going to end here in the next minute and a half. It could end right now for two-piece. Oh, stolen away. Good defense. Duena Snow. It's airmail. Kurozova, too strong on that pass. Timeout for Team Guam. They just want to get a breather here. They've, they've gotten a heck of a workout, if, if nothing less today. Take another look at Perez. All gas, no brakes. She goes to another gear. She's been next level today. That ball bounces a different way on just a couple of plays, and we might be looking at a Guam team that's contending to play on, uh, on day three. But if a frog had wings, it wouldn't bump his butt every time it jumped. Point is, ifs don't matter. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's a 19 to four game. Neither of these teams will be playing day three. That's my last reminder. Oh, that's easy money. Game point for Kazakhstan. Dwayne is going to that spin move often. She got to get in her bag a little bit. That is going to do it. So the final score of this one is handled by Bez Godoba. So Anna and her crew win it 21 to four. They can rest easy. It was a good run for Kazakhstan. But that one loss to Turkmenistan is what did them in. It's the final score that did Guam in. That is it. And that is it for our women's competition here. The first day in Singapore. All right. We'll look back at some highlights some just to show you, just in case you missed that one on how that game kind of went down. Kazakhstan, the more aggressive team from the very beginning. Both teams coming in, understanding that obviously would have no bearings on whether or not they would be able to continue their play here on day three in the main draw. So with that said, Kazakhstan put their foot on the gas from the very outset. Speaking of foot on the gas, she is a hot rod, a speedster. Perez was showing that first step. Earlier in the day, she was really showing off that shot. She had it going. This game, uh, nothing working really for Guam. As Kazakhstan put the clamps on them, bullied them with the size. And while Perez did have a couple of nice highlights here or there, this was a one-sided affair. Kazakhstan having all the fun. 
Bucket after bucket on the inside. Just some absolutely suffocating defense on Perez. They took her ball away like the gym teacher. And uh, that is, that's that, that's how you can see the, the lead just blowing up like a balloon. A 10 point game at that point. And it wouldn't get any better for Guam. You didn't have to see the rest of the highlight for me to tell you that. 16 to two at that point. And you're looking at the last couple of shots here. Baseline jumper. So congratulations to Anna Betz Godova, Daria Koroleva, Zelina Kurozova, and Valeria Kapitanova, who uh, finished two and one. But Turkmenistan, as I mentioned, they are the team that is moving on. 63 points, an unbeaten record in qualifying draw E. They are headed to D again to uh, to the main draw where they will see Sri Lanka and Chinese Taipei. All right. You see the lights are down. You see the bay right off uh, in the distance behind us. You see the financial district to the left of your screen. Uh, that's Tomoyo Chai. He's an Olympian for Team Japan. We're going to see him again later on tonight. We'll see the Japanese women in action tomorrow. Actually, I'm sorry. That'll be day three. They got a uh, direct qualification to the main draw. Actually, seven women got the uh, got direct qualifications. China, Japan, Chinese Taipei, Sri Lanka, uh, Singapore, the reigning champs, Australia. They're all locked in. We won't see them until the main draw, which is coming up day three. But what a venue. So happy to have 3x3 back in Singapore. Again, the place where it all started for 3x3. The 2010 Youth Olympic Games is what served as the launching board for 3x3 to become what it is now. So we can see we still got a, a pretty packed house in here. People enjoying uh, 3x3 the rest of the way. We got, again, some unfinished business in the men's competition. So we will, uh, we will see just who will be moving on from qualifying draw A, qualifying draw B, qualifying draw G, qualifying draw D, and, uh, well, actually, qualifying draw I, qualifying draw D won't be decided fully until tomorrow because we're getting only one look at New Zealand uh, today. So they'll be back on the schedule tomorrow. But you got New Zealand, Saudi Arabia, and Syria. Uh, the other qualifying draws will be decided. So we're going to know two of the teams that will be going to the main draw D. Chinese Taipei, Thailand, Vietnam, that qualifying draw B. Qualifying draw G with Qatar, Kyrgyzstan, and Guam. Qualifying draw I with Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, and Papua New Guinea. And New Zealand, Saudi Arabia, and Syria. All right, so here we go. Japan. Lace with Olympians. Japan come in with a 21 to 10 win over Malaysia. That is the only game that we saw them play to this point. They lead this group. Iraq also in this group. And they lost to Malaysia. So they are 0-1. Malaysia. After that 10 to 21 loss to Japan, they bounced back with a 21-12 loss, I mean 21-12 win over Iraq. So here we go. Time to get to this one. Here's the Japanese men, you know them very well. Ryo, Sarohara, Tomoyo Ochai, Ryuta Yasuoka, two Olympians, and Masahiro Komatsu. 
also representing this Japanese team who hosted the Olympic Games just one year ago. See how growth of 3x3 in the last uh, decade, if you were watching that Youth Olympic Games here, 2010, and seeing where the game is now, I'd be interested to know what your perspective is on just how much the game has evolved. I came in 2015, so I wasn't, I wasn't a part of uh, 3x3 that soon. But I got in fairly early, and I've even seen the evolution of this game on a, on a large scale. So I can only imagine people that were you know, locked into 3x3 in 2010. Matter of fact, if you were, if you were watching 3x3 in 2010, hit me up. At 3x3 The Voice. I'm going to give you a shout-out live on air. What's up? Hit me. Uh, and also make sure you follow our uh, official social media account, at FIBA3x3. Use the hashtag 3x3Asia. I'm telling you, I ain't lying. Hit me up. The phone lines are open. So, if uh, if Iraq are going to make things interesting, they certainly have to get a win here. That would force a three-way tie in this group for the moment. So they get warmed up here. Japan control their own destiny. They got to come out and play with some real fire. They certainly don't want to show up and, and look like they did at the World Cup in Antwerp where they went winless. By the way, went finished sixth at the uh, Olympic Games. Not a bad showing for them there. But a uh, little bit of a sluggish start here to 2022. They are the number two seed. They do have the worm. If there was a 3x3 Hall of Fame, given what he's done for, for Japanese 3x3, I think he'd be in it. Are you ready? All right, it's time to get to this one. In time for Iraq, Ali Muyad Ismail, Mohammed Salah Mahdi Al Kafaji.
Ochai drops it off. Man, he's got the green light. They are leading on Yasuoka. The Olympian can get it done. And a three second violation. Chai setting up shot, taking his time. The drive and the kick. Yasuoka will give it back. Oh, Chai, two toes behind the line. And the worm is heating up like a perm. Seven point difference. Couple of two balls for Ochai. He's going to get a rest. Oh, offensive foul called Yasuoka. Knocked off balance. Trying to fight through that screen. Yasuoka up fake. Quick move. Step back. Oh, couldn't land it. Hamza. They'll take the hand off for Yasuoka with the quick move defensively to stay in front of him. Rebound goes to Yasuoka. This dude is so fast, it looks like he's teleporting. Gets to the corner and touches nothing but nylon. It's 11 to 2 as Japan is putting it on Iraq. In and out. Yasuoka. Not that time. TV timeout, 6.30 to play. Japan all over Iraq, seizing a moment. Look back at a couple of these. Yasuoka, this dude has been on a kill streak so far. He's trying to make sure that Iraq do not respond. So he's been giving them buckets. No answer for him just yet. He's Japan's top weapon. It's 
Komatsu can't come away with the rebound. Good defense there. Look at Komatsu. Staying sound defensively, but he still got done up. And then he uh, throws it away. It's, he and Sato Hala were not on the same page. So In 2018, the Japanese men took a bronze medal home. 
Prior to that, they took nothing on. That's the only medal that they can claim at the Asia Cup. Look back at a few of the highlights in this one. They've been few and far between for Iraq. Trailing by seven. They have not been able to stop the uh, Japanese attack. Having some mechan mechanics issues at the free throw line. We watch a qualifying draw A action. One spot in main draw pool D at stake. And Japan will be taking that for themselves. Good ball movement to the corner. Oh my. Beautiful ball movement, but a better block. Oh, Abdallah finds his mark that time. No real needed 18 to 12. Iraq. They're showing a pulse here now. Three possession game. You never know. They string together some twos, and all of a sudden, this thing could be interesting. But they are in all kinds of trouble defensively. Nine fouls. Two more free throws pending here. Sado Hala can give his team game point with one more free throw make right here. 314 left. And he's good on both of them. Look, Abdallah lost the cookie. This is going to put it away. Ooh. He tried to end things with a punctuation mark. Sado Hata, now he gets big boyed underneath. Ochai gives it up. He's setting the screen. Sado Hata, he's clotheslined. So game point, two free throws and possession. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this one's going to be over with. Sado Hata. The floor is his, and he's going to end the show. Roll the credits. It's a wrap. 21-13, Japan. They will be heading to the main draw. We won't see them again until day three. But when we do, they'll have a spot in Pool D. They'll be joined in Pool D by whoever ends up qualifying from qualifying draw B. As well as qualifying draw I. So we will know uh, which three teams will be in main draw D by the end of business today. All right. Highlights. And Japan came out fast and furious. 
You could tell they were playing with some real moxie, some real mojo. And they understood that they couldn't mess around with this Iraq team. This is what you would expect from the two seed in this competition. Japan certainly looked like it against, again, a, a very talented Iraq team, one through four. But you can just see the understanding of the game. It was on full display from Japan, from the ball movement to how they met the physical challenge to Ochai really stepping up his shooting on, from uh, long range. You see him going back to back like a Drake track, two piece. Yasuoka is a problem. He's emerging as one of the most one of the most dynamic players uh, here in Asia. I started speaking another language there at the beginning of that sentence. That happens when you've been uh, you've been calling games all day, and I may or may not have slept last night. Maybe. Anyway, Ochai cleaning up the mess on the inside. That might have been the filthiest dime of the game, huh? So they didn't, they didn't go away quietly. Make no mistake, Abdallah made them holler. And then <laughs> saw the holler try to bang on a man. So while he didn't do that, he was able to wrap things up at the free throw line. And Japan wrap up qualifying draw A for the men. 2-0, 42 points. Wins over Malaysia and obviously win over Iraq to close their business for the day. We still have unsettled business again as we'll go through qualifying draw B, G, D, and I in our remaining four games. D won't be decided until tomorrow officially, uh, but I will. Uh, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, and Papua New Guinea. That group is going to come down between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Shout out to my guy, uh, Noah Lazarus, by the way. He's been on the mic all day long. So we will, uh, I'll actually step off the mic for a moment. And I'm going to let my guy, uh, Noah Lazarus, take over the show for just a bit before we get back to the action again. Four games remaining, ten minutes until we get back to our action. Y'all stick around. Still more 3x3 on the way from here in Singapore. Go away, all right? So, what we are giving out is a $50 gift voucher to Foot Locker, so you know if it's safe, no pressure, no pressure, all right? So, basically, if y'all are ready, we can line up at the free throw line and uh, take your shot at fame and fortune at Foot Locker. <laughs> all right, so, however y'all wanna line up, just line up here on the free throw line. You make a shot, you stay, you miss. Have a nice day. <laughs> All right. Okay, wait, don't leave yet, because let's see. Somebody got to make a shot, but you can wait. Next. Don't be shy. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. One. Okay, you stay. All right, next up. You can hold the ball if you want to get a feel for it. And... Oh, okay. Next up. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Ah, okay. Next up. Here we go. Oh, he got the form. Ah, all right. You go to the left. All right, let's go. Nice. Off the glass. It's cash. It's a voucher, not cash, though. Oh, one more kid. All right, to the left. Ah, we got some shooters here. Ah, okay. So he needed the Foot Locker. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Foot. Ah, all right. Right here, you on this side. You got the Crocs, all right. And we are now down to five. So who's next? If you made it, you stay. Here you, you know, you miss. Have a nice day. With the slippers is good. All right. Come on. Ladies. Oh, nothing but net. Ooh. We got some ballers here. Oh, short. All right, now down to four. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you all for joining. And we are now down to the final. 
three. And we now have a good old fashioned shoot out. Ah, oh, make it look easy. Oh, thank you very much. And now down to our final two. Calvin Klein, unable to hit. Come on, one more. Here we go, this is the final round. Oh! Wait, I think he won, right? Oh yeah, we have a winner, I'm sorry, that's my fault. We have a winner here. He is the winner, my bad, my bad. I took, you can't take your eye off the court. And this is our winner, yes. Congratulations, sir, I'm sorry. You can't take your eye off the court. Give it up for all our participants. Give it up, y'all. So what's your name, bro? Uh, Long. Low? Long. You want to say uh, hello to anybody? Hello, everybody. Thank you. OK, give it up one time for Long. I'll see you at Foot Locker, bro. All right? Give it up, y'all. FIBA 3X3, Asia Cup, Singapore 2022. More than just a game. It's a party, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna get started with our next game real quick. Tell y'all if you know anybody, come on, if y'all still here, I want y'all to clap your hands with me. In the speed of 3x3 Asian Cup, come, come on, y'all, let's go, come on, clap, clap. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on.
Got some business to handle as we head down the final stretch, the final few games of the day. We will find out who will be going on to the main draw from qualifying draw B, qualifying draw D, and qualifying draw I and G. There you go. We still got Qatar, Kyrgyzstan, we still got Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan on deck, New Zealand and Saudi Arabia in a play-in game. Both of those beneficiaries of a forfeit, so uh, the winner of that game will be going on. And of course, up next we got qualifying draw B action between Chinese Taipei and Thailand. Chinese Taipei with a one point win over Vietnam earlier. That was their only action. Vietnam wrap up one and one. Thailand suffered a 16 to 17 loss. And now they'll uh, they'll try to bounce back with a win, potentially force a three-way tie and force us to bring out the calculators and find out who's going to be moving on. But Chinese Taipei, they control their own destiny. They get a win and this group is decided. Thailand get it done. Again, we got to break out the calculators. We are about to find out Two fairly evenly matched teams. They've been, it's been close games. Each game in this group has been decided by one point today. Vietnam's two, two games that they split. Again, a 17 to 16 win over Thailand and a 17 to 18 loss to Chinese Taipei. So all three, uh, this was a this was a well placed group, I guess you could say here in the qualifying draw. Competitive, don't know who's gonna win it. Thailand come out in the blue with the red trim. Chinese Taipei come out in the all white with the blue trim. Each team will go to their corner after a few layups. I'm describing this like a boxing match. It is the matchup of a couple of heavyweights. Vanessa will handle the coin flip. Whoever wins the coin flip will very likely take possession. It's going to start with blue ball. Golger says so. He's going with the Eminem uh, blonde look. Sing for the laughter, sing for the tears. Uh, Vanessa Delvin. Devlin. Chun Wing Long. 
They will officiate this one. Again, qualifying draw B. The final spots in the main draw will be determined tomorrow after another slate of some 20 games. I believe 22 today. I lost count. Don't matter. We're having fun anyway. Put a couple more on the schedule. My director is saying, shut up, Kyle. All right, 10 minutes on the game clock. It's time to get this one on and popping. Shout out to all the fans who uh, have been sticking around all day long. Had a nice breeze coming in off the bay, but it, it's humid here. It is humid. Are you ready? 10, Wong Sawantham. They'll start the possession six, here five, for the boys four, in blue. Three, X, three. And it's on. Let's get to it. Three-way tie. Or the group will be decided. Chinese Taipei. Oh, all up in his facial region. So Thailand draw first blood. It's a lonely feeling to have a shot drained in your face. The only thing you can do is start looking around and hope nobody saw it, but we got an arena full of people. You got to bounce back, bro. Spin move, drop step. Nowhere to go. He's locked up. They won't let him out, no. Good D, Chinese Taipei. Sao. He'll start this one with the check. Screens away. Chinese Taipei, this is what they have. They have an abundance of speed, not, not bad length as well. Gogar going to the spin move. He'll kick it out. The runner, not enough sauce. Lin drops it to the corner. Baseline drive, it is swatted, recovered, but scored again. Or scored the first time. Scored on the second attempt. Oh, fell asleep there defensively. Got to always be aware. It's one thing that Thailand does well is you're going to see perpetual movement off the ball. Show a great understanding of what makes you successful in this game. Gober thought that was good. I did too. Good release. Not a good result. Oh, Lin to the 10. He lays that in. It's 3-3. Nice pace to start this one. It's going to be a good game. I think this one might go down to the wire, y'all. Good composure, but the layup was too much. Oh, is that? Nope, foul. Shooting one. So Sin Khan Lin. Did we get a chance to shoot one here? Lin, oh. Rolls off the iron, right off the front. Score stays where it's at. It's Gogar. They nearly threw that one away. Jump, hook. Check out the hook while the DJ revolves. One point lead for Thailand. Oh, nice. Drive and score. 5-3 game. Another miss as Thailand is up front by two. Lin. Man, he was gone in a blink. Spin move. Good Dito. You ain't going nowhere. Great defense there. So Wantham now trying to D up himself, but he just got put on the bucket list. 5-5 five, five game, Goger goes to the spin move on the baseline. He's moving some things around down there. Thailand assume a one point advantage. Oh, it took him to spin class. Sit down, watch me teach. 
six apiece. Wong Sawanthan off the miss now. Chinese Taipei, look at the cut, G. Team, he takes the package and delivers. Here we go, back and forth. 13 point score through the first three minutes and seven seconds. We got a TV timeout, both of these teams need a break. A competitive game, as competitive as you would expect. Thailand with their backs against the wall. Not only do they have to have a win, they've got to find a way to win by at least three points. Back to it, we go. Quick move. Lost him with the crossover. But a wild layup attempt. Ball will go back over to White. Lin, ISO game, up top, behind the back. He's going to hand it off to Lin. Man, he is driving with reckless abandon straight to the rack. Long two attempt, missed it to the left. Good sense of awareness and great patience on the inside to get that one to go. A lot of credit to Chungi Yampin. There we go. This game is getting fast and furious. Buckle up your seatbelts. Nice dish. And Lin will finish. Goger. He has no response that time, but Chinese Taipei. They lead it by three. Sal setting up the play. He gives it up to get it back. Notice the movement off the ball here. Very little standing around here for Chinese Taipei. Lin will pull up. Oh, touch a net like Spider-Man. It's 11-7. Five forty-two and counting. Chinese Taipei's lead up to four now. Pull up from distance. Eleven nine after that two-piece. What a layup attempt! I thought he was going to make that from my angle, but instead, trip to the stripe will do. Su Wei Lin, athletic player with a blazing fast first step, strong on the interior. At times he's been their best player. Just that one to trickle in and three point distance is what it will stay at. Chinese Taipei need nine to come away with a win here. They fight for the loose ball and that's going to be deemed white ball, I think. Yeah. Sal. Oh, offensive foul. It's going to waste the two-point attempt right here. Got to be set while setting those screens. Drop step, Bulger, oh, but he blew the crib, and then another missed layup. Good defense on that second attempt, though. Lynn dropping the shoulder. Good help defense as that one swatted. That ball tipped out, but can't track it down. Chinese Taipei will have it. Take another look. Goger just got a little bit anxious on that tip out. Little jab step, Lin. Two piece, too strong. That one's gonna get tracked down by White. Uh, moving on up, 14-9. Oh, contact on that two ball. Well behind the two-point arc. Got to stop the clock. And, of course, two free throws will follow. Montin Wagsangwanta. 
So one song, one time. Good on the first of two. Second one, no, yes. It sounded like I said no, but I was saying second one. And then it shocked me. Oh. Lynn. I was about to say, you kidding me if he hits that shot? Come on, man. Oh, the Ali Oop attempt. Does that bounce off blue? Three point difference here. Approaching four minutes. Ting trying to do his thing. Instead, he got his pocket picked for the moment. Out of bounds off blue. Six to shoot for Chinese Taipei. Lin setting up, pull up. Uh uh. Short arm net shot. And another TV timeout is what we'll get. Both teams will get a chance to reset. And again, just to let you know the stakes here, Chinese Taipei control their own destiny. They lead it by three. A win for them will secure their spot in the main draw. Goger setting something up out of the break. Oh my goodness. That was deeper than Sigmund Freud. 14 to 13 answered with a quick drive. They cannot stay in front of Lin when he is set on getting to the rim. Little give and go reverse. Oh! Would have been a beautiful connection instead. It was just a thought. I'll show you how to do this, son. 16-10. Whoa. Goger. Baseline jumper. Count those. Shang Yampin doing the uh, honors there. Now can he D up? Lynn misses it. I don't know if it was necessarily because of the D. James Awad. That one poked away. And a precision pass is going to lead to another lay. It's a one-point game. Oh, they fell asleep. And Lin is going to go in and make it a 17-15 contest. Just a two-point lead for Chinese Taipei. Make that a one-point lead. The reverse layup is good. Ting, he likes it from distance. That one rattles off the iron. Now he's got the D up. Gogar gives it up. Spin move, fade away. No, front iron. Ball to white, ball fake. Lynn, Sunday Cruz. Oh, get your weight up, Chunky Yampin. It's a no, though. Just over two minutes to play. It's crunch time like we open up some Pringles. Foul off the ball. I think Ting took a shot. All right, they're going to make that an unsportsmanlike foul. They discussed it. So a couple of free throw attempts here. First one rattles in. Chinese Taipei a step closer to securing their spot in the main draw. The game point with a make here. They'll get a spot in main draw, pull D with, whoa, with, if they're able to hold off Thailand. 
It ain't over with yet. Wanga Wanstein. Missed it. Deep range. High rebound to White. That ball kicked on the baseline. Sidestep. Lynn. Walk 30 to play, another whistle. Four fouls on Chinese Taipei. Neither team in immediate danger of the penalty, but that was a shooting foul. So Chucky Yanpin will step up and shoot one. Chucky Yanpin can't make it count. Good offensive board, though. Chucky Yanpin drives, clears some space. Got to get that, got to get that ball to somebody. Who's that off of? Uh, I guess Blue. Goger. Long two attempt. No. James Wong. Gogar. Wanga Wanstein. No. Officially 59 ticks left. Guard the two point arc has got to be top priority for Thailand. They don't have to get a two. They want to get the easiest score possible. Even if that's a layup, they would take it. There ain't nothing easy down there. My goodness. Uh-oh. Thought about toying with his food. Oh, my goodness. Did y'all see the hezzy? Oh, that would have done it. Instead, they closed out defensively. 30 seconds left. Outstanding defense. That's going to leave just six seconds to shoot. 28 ticks left in the game. Wanstein, he'll pass the screen away. That two is going to count. One point game, it ain't over yet. Or maybe I spoke too soon. Chinese Taipei with game point. Wanga walks the, oh, Bulger steps on the line. Big mistake, his team would have had a chance. They turn it over with 2.7 left. What a heartbreaker for Thailand, who had just knocked down a huge two ball. Now they're gonna have to foul quickly. And they'll have to determine just how much time should be left on the clock. I don't think it took all two point some odd seconds there, uh, but they're gonna, they're gonna go with uh, leaving it where it's at. Okay, that's it. That is all Chinese Taipei. They have made it to the main draw, but what a finish. As Thailand, they stuck with it. And two point bomb uh, brought them to the doorstep, but a bad mistake and stepping out of bounds will cost them the trip. Instead, it is Chinese Taipei. They'll be moving on. We'll see them in main draw pool D. Take a look at how that one went down. A competitive game. You knew it was going to be tough. You knew that it was going to be hard fought, well contested. And that's exactly what it was. Started off with that two piece from the left wing. Wonka Wanstein. He's the one who opened up the scoring. Boger always calm, cool, and collected. Keeps his eyes above. Getting his teammates involved. See him continue to set the table. It's a jump hook. Goes down, cut. Working efficiently as well. 
Walker Wong's thumb had a solid game for the boys in blue. But they could do nothing. I mean absolutely nothing with Lin. He had his weight like Burger King. And my guy was eating. He wasn't the only one, though. The defense turned into offense. There's Lin again. And then, why not? You want some more Lin, you're going to get plenty of it. Two-piece, no biscuit. And then the dime set up to Sue Wei Lin. So the twin Lins uh, got it in. That was Sin Khan that time. And finally, the last lay right there from Sung Siang Cao. We'll get Chinese Taipei in. They go 2-0, 38 points. Would have been close had it come down to a three-way uh, tiebreaker, but it did not. Chinese Taipei handled business, and they are on to the main draw. The qualifying draw B again. They'll be playing in Pool D. So what do we have left? Uh, that's what I'm here for. I will let you know. We are going to qualify and draw D, game number three, New Zealand and Saudi Arabia in a play-in game. New Zealand and Saudi Arabia, it essentially comes down to this. Both of these uh, teams, recipients of a forfeit. Syria was not able to uh, compete, so two wins apiece for them. They both come in 1-0. and oh. And they've been waiting all day for this. I think this is one of the tougher teams in the competition. It's Dominique Kelvin Poto. He's got his own little fan base over there, apparently. They like the blonde hair. JB Smooth. He enters the court of play. And Zach Easthope. He's playing in place of Ty Winyard. He's a big fella, too. And they're going to need all of his skills. Here's the tall blacks in all white. They got the b-boy poses going on. Jaden Bazant, Zach Easthope, Dominique Kelvin Poto. These guys are having fun. And Nico McCulloch. So New Zealand men, they took home silver in 2017. Never a gold as the women uh, did in 2018. They bring in the same squad from the World Cup with the exception of Winyard. Remember the game they... Well, I don't want to remind them, but hey, I should remind you. They had the United States beat. Three-point lead late in the play-in game. It could have been the Tall Blacks going on, on into the quarterfinals. And uh, they end up letting that one slip. But it was certainly uh, encouraging for their fan base to see them really push that athletic and dynamic American team to the edge like that. Now we get to see what they'll do against Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's uh, body of work is yet to be determined. They've been waiting all day too. It's going down for real. Oh, DJ Last turned the song off on me right when I was singing. That's not how I did it. All right, they're gonna get warmed up here. This uh, our third. We got two more games after this. We got Qatar and Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. So the final three games going down here. Qualifying draw D. Qualifying draw G and qualifying draw I. All will be decided. And again, in case you didn't know, I will remind you, I realize that you can't watch the stream all day long. Qualifying draw D, whoever wins this qualifying draw will head to pool B with Australia uh, and whomever qualifies from qualifying draw G which features Qatar, Kyrgyzstan, and Guam. So uh, 
that's all going to be figured out. Saudi Arabia showing some uh, on paper. They look uh, they look pretty formidable. Got some good size here. Good mixture. Abdul Malik, Mohammed Danal, Hani Mohammed M, Turkey Al Muhana, and Saad Sota Al Sub Abai. All right, it's on. The Tall Blacks will start with it. JB Smooth will kick it left. McCulloch finishes with the Frito Lay right at the rim. New Zealand, they're going to draw first blood. Quick step, lost a step. Gets back up and the fall away off the window. Down to Kelman Poto. This dude is a straight up bully down there. The authorities will not be able to save you. Two, one game, two up, two down. I like the start. Oh, devastating jab step. JB Smooth didn't finish it though. He made the earth shake under his feet, but didn't finish it off. I got a glimpse of JB Smooth's game at uh, the World Cup. Not only that, I've seen him emerging. And uh, my first glance, I said, this dude got, you know, he's got something special about him. If he can consistently finish at the rim. McCulloch saw him help uh, win that. Asia qualif that World Cup Asia qualifier back in Doha this spring. And I've seen uh, East Hope in spot duty, and of course, Kelman Poto was a part of that um, World Cup Asia qualifier squad as well. So here we go, 3-3 three, three game. I like the early markings on this one. Oh, that's baby food. Kelman Poto aggressively attacks the rim. He's going to shoot one as a result. Talk a lot about Ty Winyard and what he means to the Tall Blacks team. He's not playing here, obviously, but I say that to say this. Kelman Poto has been as big of a part of, uh, of any success that they've had. Uh, he, oh, that is grown man stuff right there. Zach Easthope. Somebody's been on the shoulder press. East Hope could play for the All Blacks. This dude is tough as nails, and he nails the free throw. New Zealand up, out by two. Foul white. Saudi Arabia reached the final in the first edition of the Asian Cup. Remind you of that? That was back in 2013. They, they barely lost to Qatar. Ever since then, they've been absent from the podium. Meantime, Turkey, oh, that was a comet. Came down from the galaxy, straight through the rim. It's 5-5. Five, five. Hani will check in. And Abdul Malik will check out. McCulloch will, uh, will open the possession. This ref Eddie Lou will have a, a conversation with Hani Mohammed Al Mohammed. McCulloch gets free. Shot off the iron. Oh, he can't clean up the mess. JB Smooth misses the crib. East Hope. He's trying to finish the leftovers. He's a big man. He didn't have the stomach for it. McCulloch swings it over to Bezant. Bezant. Step back, get over here. Seven five. Tall blacks. And Turkey. He's gonna walk that one off. He took a shot to the grill. And he's gonna clear the cobwebs for a moment. Saad. Calling the play as he'll open the possession here for Saudi Arabia. Trailing by two. Abdul Malik pull up jumper. Comes up Kevin Hart. Short. 
two-point contest. East Hope, dime delivery. Kelvin Poto finishes with the scoop de do. Three-point difference, New Zealand. Saad gets to his spot, up fake. Oh, but he lost the cookie. The Wilson over to Kelman Poto. Over to JB Smooth. JB Smooth will get it over to Kelman Poto. Kelman Poto, no. East Hope was about to give uh, Abdul Malik a piggyback ride. He just couldn't hold that beast down. Four foul on Saudi Arabia, two more to give. Two and a half minutes in. Qualifying draw, D action. Play in game to the main draw. Who you got? McCulloch, he steps back, creates some space, but he air melts it. Kelman Poto, though, that ball just seems to find him. He almost got that one to go in. Instead, it's a miss, but he will shoot one. Kelman Poto. Got to work on a nickname for DK, uh, DKP. New Zealand decorated team, as I mentioned, taking gold at the World Cup qualifier Asia. Silver medalist at the 2015 FIBA 3X3 Oceania Championships and the FIBA 3X3 Asia Cup 2017. They're the 5C. Kelman Poto standing 199, 27 years old. Stand strong at the free throw stripe. It's up to a 10-5 lead. The tall black standing tall here through the first nearly three minutes. Hani. Out in the deep end. And he's splashing it. Oh, East Hope is going to regather it, but he sent packing. Kelman Poto, oh, lost him with the behind the back. You cannot miss that shot. That is mixtape material wasted. He doesn't waste that opportunity. That one scored on the inside. Four point lead for New Zealand. Hani, he just hit one from deep. He decides to pass that one up. Up fake. Hani, nope. On McCulloch. He pulls the trigger, it's a misfire. He'll get it back, McCulloch. He wants to back it up, he throws in reverse. Oh, McCulloch, not nearly enough protein. So TV timeout, 6.30 to play. New Zealand with a two possession lead. They'll get a rest. Playing well in sequence here. Saudi Arabia got some work to do. There's a look at Hani, sinking one out deep. Looked off the defense, stepped into it comfortably. That's wrist work for you. Side will start it. He's defended by Bazant. JB Smooth defending. Around comes Turkey. Turkey, he wants it back. Give me, give, give me that ball. I got something I want to show him. Back iron. That was nearly down. Long rebound goes to McCulloch. McCulloch. He drives. The flotation device malfunctions. And a grab on the tall blacks. That's a fourth foul on New Zealand. Saudi Arabia with no more to give as we close in on that six minute mark. Turkey defended by Kelman Poto. They'll drop it off left. They're gonna learn a lesson. Keep shooting, letting Hani shoot. That was a narrow miss right there. Here comes East Hope, East Hope. The dish to Kelman Poto. Oh, he didn't forget the tip. That was gratuitous for the Tall Blacks. 12-7 game, Sa'ad. Oh, he sold the bag. The fear overcame him. It's like the never-ending story. Betray you. Oh, 
I think it was actually Valcor's horse that the fear overtook me. Did anybody even see that movie? I'm, am I just talking to myself? Valcor! 12-7. Oh 5.30 to play. The rip, wrist is flipped. Didn't have the right rotation. Oh, Bazan. Gone with the win. Finishes at the rim, no problem. Can he keep up now? Oh, a dog. And a leak. Right back at you, homie. Kelman Poto down to the torture chamber. He will abuse you. Not much you're going to be able to do. 14 to 8 contest. Five minutes exactly left in this contest. Abdul Malik, Hani, another narrow miss. McCulloch waiting for Bazant to come around. Bazant finds his spot, but could not put it down. There's Hani on the drive. No, it's a miss. Kelvin Poto to McCulloch. Over to Kelman Poto. Man, that dude is like a diesel truck coming down the lane. You just, you're gonna get plowed over. You gotta be ready. Seven point lead for the Tall Blacks. 424 left. Nice ball movement. East Hope snuffed it out. Turkey now to Saad. Abdul Malik put on the brakes, but he uh, gave him a brick. Oh, McCullough, instead of getting it down low, the East Hope chunked the deuces, missed it. Turkey lets a couple of defenders fly by. And his stroke was broke. Oh, East Hope. He's called for the offensive foul. Made a turkey road kill. TV timeout. One to four minutes to go. New Zealand with a comfortable lead. Can't let their foot off the gas, though. They finish strong. 357 left on the clock here. Yeah. DC against Saudi Arabia. That's here. Kelman Poto. Straight up bully ball down here. And where are fans from New Zealand? Turkey will start it. Abdul Malik will give it back to Turkey. Working from the left. Hezzy step through, kick out. Front iron. Hani couldn't hit it. So McCulloch over to JB Smooth. Down low to Kel Poto. He misses it. Kelvin Poto back up to the line. He's been a problem child to this point. Uncontrollable. Maybe that's his new nickname, Problem Child. We'll have to run that by him, see what he thinks. He's a grown man. Just doesn't have the same kind of ring if you call him Problem Man. There we go. No issues at the free throw line. As New Zealand extends their lead to eight. Turkey down low. Hani spinning off the defense. A little smooch off the glass. Still a seven point difference. McCulloch taking his time. He's gonna finish with the lefty lay. And Turkey. He elevates, finishes with the left hand as well. McCulloch, stepped back, created more space than an astronaut, and then he looked at that man. Whoa, that was a that was a hell of a collision over there.
Turkey, give him credit though. He's laying it all on the line. What a hustle. Sacrificing his body. With his team down by nine points late. Look at that. Shout out to our sponsor, Peak, here in Singapore. That was the sign that he crashed into. Three minutes left in this one. Both teams in the penalty, seven fouls apiece. But New Zealand with a nine-point nine advantage. They could end this thing with a two-piece no-biscuit. But Zant High Art couldn't put it away. Oh, nice fake. Yeah, but Zant flying. Kelvin Poto is going to take his time. That, that's abuse. Just abusive. Game point, New Zealand. Turkey. Lost to Wilson. Kelman Poto has it. He's got that look in his eyes. East Hope going to the basement. You are not going to come out of there alive. 21 to 11. New Zealand. Light work against Saudi Arabia. They fully expected to be going on to the main draw, and that's exactly where they will be heading. Just a couple of uh, games left on the slate today. New Zealand waited all day for this one. They were a beneficiary of a forfeit. Syria was not able to make it. And now they're going to do a little pose for the gram. <laughs> yeah, they they, uh, they dripping swagoo over there. They, these dudes have plenty of confidence, plenty of skill. They're a team that's going to have to be dealt with. As Nico McCulloch is standing by with Tristan Lovellette. Let's hear what he has to say as the Tall Blacks are heading to the main draw. <laughs> Tristan. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne. Nick, Nick, New Zealand, we're uh, waiting all day to get out there. Were you guys just raring to go? Uh, definitely. I think coming off the World Cup, we were hyped for this tournament uh, in preparation for the Commonwealth. So we're taking every game serious for sure. And now you've qualified for the main draw. Do you think you guys can make some noise? And if so, what do you guys need to do to um, improve in your game? I think just competing every game, learning every game, like it's a completely different sport to what we're used to. So just backing down from nobody and showing them what New Zealand's all about, for sure. Congratulations and enjoy the win. Yes, sir. Mr. Wang, hello. All right. That's a confident quartet right there, these tall blacks. This was not a tall order for them. They got him in and got it done, JB Smooth and crew. These boys are serious business. New Zealand, one for one, that's all it took. Look back at their body of work as they put Saudi Arabia in a body bag. Saudi Arabia came out to play this, they're a good team. I just think that they really lack uh, the size uh, to contend with, with uh, New Zealand here. They, with Kelvin Poto, as aggressive as he is, and with the size that he has in the post, and, and Zach East Hope, you gotta be kidding. I mean, that that's a problem that most teams are gonna have a difficult time solving. As JB Smooth starts to get in his groove, and Nico McCulloch, they do their thing from the guard position. This is the perfect mixture. Really a dangerous concoction for New Zealand. Oceania's best. And while the Saudis really showed a lot of fight, some nice ball movement, some ball fakes, had some good highlights themselves. Uh, yeah, they won't do it. New Zealand will go 2-0. Again, they get a, a forfeit for Syria, who did not show up. That's what made that a play-in game. So New Zealand is moving on to the main draw. A couple more games to the side. Uh, today's action. We'll see. Uh, we'll see New Zealand. 
competing in Pool B with Australia. And whomever qualifies from qualifying draw G, we will find out who that will be immediately with the next game. Is it going to be Qatar? Is it going to be Kyrgyzstan? Is it going to be Guam? We'll find out. Qatar, they control their own destiny. They're thir they picked up a 13-7 win over Guam. Guam split their action with a 15 to 13 win uh, over Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan uh, with their backs against the wall. They need a win here. They want to force a three-way tie. A similar situation. If Cutter can hold on and get a win, it makes it uh, an easy group to decide. And you obviously will know who's uh, going on to the main draw. Joining New Zealand and Australia in Pool B. Qualifying draw I will be uh, decided as well. With our final game of the day Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Winner goes to main draw pool D in that contest. So we got two 10 minute sprints still left. We appreciate you for hanging with us. I certainly do. Kyle Montgomery, AKA The Voice. Hope that it's been a pleasurable viewing experience for you. The action and the one liners. We have fun. This is a fun place to be. Singapore with a special relationship with 3X3. A very unique city that oozes diversity, cultural melting pot, and it doesn't hurt to uh, to have a little money. Singapore has the world's highest percentage of uh, millionaires. Did you know that? With one out of every six households having at least a million U.S. dollars in disposable wealth. Yeah, when I read that, my jaw dropped. It's some money being made around here. You dig what I'm saying? All right, Qatar. Six point win over Guam. An all new team, a youthful squad. With uh, a reputation that precedes them, at least for their country. This young team has not accomplish anything as a as a group yet but Qatar they're world champions they're also Asia Cup gold medalists as well 2014 world champs 2013 uh, Asia Cup champions so Here they are, Team Qatar. Mohammed Hashim Abashir, Khalid Mohammed R. Abdel Basset, Omar Mohammed A.M. Saad, and Ahmad Saeed Mohammed. Kyrgyzstan's turn to enter the quarter play. I don't expect them to show any fear. Playing with their backs against the wall. They need to not only get a win to force a three-way tie, they're going to need to win it by a certain amount of points. Those points we are calculating as we speak. So Guam end up with 22 points. Kyrgyzstan come in with 13 points. And Qatar also come in with 13 points. So 22 is the mark to beat. So nine is the magic number. They gotta win it by Yeah, at least nine. See, that's slow math. I was trying to do it quickly. <laughs> Very difficult trying to do math and talk at the same time. All right. A few minutes to warm up. Oh, yeah. Day one. Day 
beautiful skyline here in this city, just in the backdrop of our venue off of the Singapore River. Kyrgyzstan in the red and Qatar in the white. 50 teams, a record. That's what we started with, but only nine slots open for the main draw for, men, for the men. That is narrowed, obviously, today. And just five spots in the main draw for the women. Most of those spots being gobbled up today. We saw Turkmenistan come out of the qualifying draw E for the women. Joining Chinese Taipei and Sri Lanka in pool D. We'll see Indonesia four, and the Republic of Korea. We saw three. Indonesia earn their way in. They joined Japan and Singapore in the main draw pool B. All right. A lot of stake here. Will Qatar show some maturity and seize the moment that's in front of them? It's a nice spin move and a score. Like his game. Long ball. Ajiev misses the tip. It's a no good. Kuren Baev, cross court pass, up fake. Oh, Peko, no. Rashidi. Over to Zidane. Saad, nice touch. Good defense on the inside. Kuren Baev, no. Zainan will kick it over to Sa'ad. Sa'ad, I mistook him for another Sa'ad. Played for a long time for Qatar. Looks just like him. I'm assuming it's his brother. Will the real Sa'ad please stand up? Pull up. Rattles off the iron. Kieran Bayev will track it down. He elevates, will kick it out. Peko, drive and kick. Ajiev, wedded into signing. One point lead. That is for, for Cutter. Kyrgyzstan with that two piece. They do get on the board. Oh, that one. Tinkano couldn't get it to go. He's got that bitter beer face now. Saeed with a step back. No. Comes up abbreviated. That ball is tipped, so that'll leave almost two seconds on the shot clock to shoot. Rashidi, Rashidi will have to take it himself. Rashidi. Does not get it up in time. Strong defense. So you're going to work it from the left block. Kirin Bayev, he's got the green light. But that stroke was broke. Score stays exactly where it's at. Kieran Bayev, oh, up fake. Good move. Lost the defender. Could not find the stroke. He's got the moves. Got to find some consistency with that jumper, though. Sa'ad, that is a tough drive. Good defense on the interior. Peko's got great length. He's going to receive the package. Tips it out. Oh, Tinko. Tinko's the twine. Money in the bank from deep. 4-3. Ball stays red. Pekov hands it off. Kieran Bayev. Driving, missing. Saad to Saeed. Saeed wants to go to the post office. That ball is poked away. Nice dime set up. Leads to the easy lay. That's what you want, the easy points. There's a two-piece. 5-5 five, five game. Kieran Bayev looks off the defense. Uh, cross, dipped it. The long arms. 
package for him like lunch. Saad. He misses. Saeed is there to clean it up. One point lead for Cutter. Peko making his move left. Dips the shoulder. He's hacked. He's going to shoot one. To our first break in action, 6.48 to go in this game. TV timeout. Back off up to the line. Back off with the wrist work from the line. Entry pass. That sails out of bounds. Pekova's out. Kieran Bayev is in. They're going to play it heavy left. Kieran Bayev, speaking of left, right past the defense, he decided to kick it. No foul drawn there. And a shot clock violation is the result. Take more than, than that to fool official Eddie Lou. He's seen it all. Oh, yeah, travel. Shuffle his feet. Kieran Bayev to Ajiev. Ajiev, long rebound. Sa'ad comes down with it, getting some pressure defense from Ajiev. He wants to give it up to Zaidan. Zaidan. Oh, lost the cookie. He's going to give it over. Saeed, wild on his layup attempt again. He just joining us. Qatar control their own destiny. A win here guarantees their spot in the main draw. If Kyrgyzstan can pull off a shocker here, can score at least nine points and outscore uh, Cutter, then they will come out of a three-way tie. Tinka, no. 8-6. It's a second two-piece. Tinka, no. Couldn't stey in front of Zidane that time. Kieran Bayev has it poked away momentarily. Kieran Bayev. He gets it to Adiev. Adiev sees the two. And he's shooting like he's got a scope out there. It's 7 to 10. Zainan. Oh, help defense. Yep. Foul call. Five fourteen. Zainan with good size. Not as experienced as what we've seen from Qatari teams of the past. Kind of a reset for them. He misses the free throw, so the score will stay a three-point difference. Risky entry pass. Somehow, someway, Peko ends up with it. It's poked away. He's going to kick it out. Cured by Yev. He pulls the trigger. It's a misfire. Taking off. He's got it clear. Drive and kick. Nice ball movement here. Cured by Yev. Man. The taste of vapors. He just left them. <laughs> Qatar ball. Qatar ball by four. to fit inside at the top of the key. Saad giving the giving the space and he gave him a taste. All in his mouth. 
Cured by it. Quick change of direction. Nobody was looking. Tikhanov lost his footing. He still kept his kept his sights on the rim. Missed it. Zidane, we haven't seen him out there too much. And he put too much protein on that release. Who's going to defend on the inside? Got to worry about the outside. Tikhanov. Nah. Rush deep. Taking the ball out. Continue to talk. Side in. Dribble drive. Lost the handle on it. Up fake. Rush deep. Driving. Met at the rim. He comes away with nothing. Peckoff. That would have been a big hit. Would have tied things up instead. 9-11 game. And Eddie Lou's going to have a conversation with Rashti. He says, don't do that. Don't throw the ball on the ground. I understand. This is a high-intensity game. So TV timeout. Kyrgyzstan, both teams have reached that magic number of nine. Three fifty-two. As we get back to it, Rosh D. Swings it right to start the possession. Zidane coming around. Zidane going to the spit move. Mishandled it. Got it back. Missed it. Kieran Bayev trying to pocket pass. Quick feet from Saeed. Kieran Bayev, his entry pass is deflected. That foul on White, though. Four foul on Qatar. As cured by Yev, he likes that one. Two piece to the head, 13 9. Zidane on the baseline. Lost him. All slow on the closeout. Can cure Bayev? No. He misses it. Peko muscle up. Kyrgyzstan out front by four. That's a big hit from Zidane. You got to have a short memory in 3x3. He missed a couple from deep. That should give him some more confidence. Kieran Baez's pass is deflected. We're under three minutes to play. Saeed going for the scoop. Zidane is there to clean things up. Kieran Baez up fake. He's doing his dance, but he couldn't land it from outside. So it'll stay a one-point game. Oh, uh, Saeed, man, just lost his footing. That was just a stroke of bad luck. Peko, he wants to get a stroke. Instead, he'll get it to Kieran Bayev. Kieran Bayev, two-piece combo from the left wing. 16-13. Rashti dropping the shoulder. Move out of my way. Kieran Bayev, he's out of there. But the ball does not fall in there. Kicked out. Rashti just waiting on the package to deliver. He hits one from long range. It's all even at 16 apiece. That foul on the floor. What a... So again, the way this group looks is you've got two teams essentially playing for the play-in game now that they've surpassed the nine points that they needed. Guam, who had 22 points on the day. They picked up a 15-13 win over Kyrgyzstan, but they lost to Qatar 7-13. 22 points is what they totaled. Both Qatar and Kyrgyzstan have surpassed that. 39 points apiece. Whoever wins this thing 
is going into the main draw. Period. Buck 54 and count. Pecco trying to rock him with the cross. Taking off, have to force it up. Minute 40 and count. Saad, he'll kick it out. Side and forced the shot. Probably should have drove there. He's beat on the closeout. And he's going to get a whistle for the foul. He was out of position there. Number six on Qatar. That is a shooting foul. Next defensive foul on the Qataris. And a couple of free throws will follow for Kyrgyzstan. Big one's here on the line. Peck off. Lucky to get that on his own board. Oh, edge, yeah. He's got places to go and buckets to get. Rashti. Oh, that's whistled off of Qatar. Zajiev on the move. That ball is moving around the perimeter. Good up fake. Pecco all day long. Short on. Zidane with the board. Saad going to the post. He drops it off. Rashti misses. Zidane is there for the follow. 17-17. Two ball corner pocket. No. Ajiev will drop it off. Pecco, no. He's going to go at it again. And that one is going to fall. Kyrgyzstan in front. This one coming down to the wire, Sa'ad, Zidane, clear for takeoff, he's gonna finish with the boom. 18 up, Kieran Bayev with the scoop, wrong flavor. 18, 18 it is. Zidane thought about the two, he'll pass it up, Sa'ad, up fake, step back, cross, pass the defense, IGM is gonna pick up a fourth foul, smart foul, because they got plenty to give, does Kyrgyzstan, 20.6 seconds left. Rashti over to Sa'ad. 16 seconds to go. Sa'ad left all alone. He's got reservations for two. And Qatar might have reservations for day three. They had to make sure that the game clock is set properly. But what a shot for Sa'ad. Had the courage to take that two-piece. Now Tikhanov, he's got 6.2 seconds to work with. They need a two to tie, does Kyrgyzstan. Kuren Bayev, that pass, that shot is deflected as the defense holds for Qatar. Sa'ad the hero as Qatar go 2-0 and oh in a tight contest with Kyrgyzstan. Here's a look at the go-ahead bucket, the kill shot from Sa'ad. They double dared him. He ain't never scared. Calmly knocks it down with ice water running through his veins. And Qatar will see them on day three in the main draw. Credit to them as Kyrgyzstan will obviously come up short in their efforts. But uh, a hard-fought game. All right, time to get to the highlights. So out of qualifying draw G, Qatar will join direct qualifier Australia and the winner of draw D, which we will find out, well, which we already know exactly, which is New Zealand. So it'll be New Zealand, Qatar, and Australia in pool B in the main draw. Only thing left is qualifying draw I, we got Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan on deck, but let's take a look back at how this one went down. This contest was filled with fireworks, a back and forth affair like an Aaliyah track. Saad, that wasn't the first big shot that he hit in that game. That one a miss, but Saeed was there to clean up his mess. 
saw both young teams trade big buckets. Kieran Bayer. He gets it to IGF. He got the two stroke from the left wing. And all of a sudden, Kyrgyzstan had stormed in front. Kieran Bayev with his team. Already up two. That would make it a four-point game. And all of a sudden, it wasn't looking too good for Qatar. But they settled in. Side in. Started to utilize his tools in his toolbox. That size being one of them. Big two hit from Kieran Bayev. The layup from IGF. And it was looking like it was a done deal. This bucket here on the inside would give Kyrgyzstan a one-point advantage. This would tie things up. And then the two-piece from Sa'ad late in that game would give Qatar the edge as they win qualifying draw G. We'll see them again on day three when we get into the main draw. Only 12 teams will compete for the men. 12 teams will compete for the women. We got two teams competing for the last spot on the day. How about that? This is qualifying draw I on deck. The winner of uh, this one will go to main draw pool D and will face uh, Japan and Chinese Taipei. So we saw those teams qualify both today. So this is it, the final 10 minute sprint of day one of this 2022 edition of the Asia Cup. Don't worry, we got five days of competition here. So uh, plenty more to come. Tomorrow, of course, will be our final day of uh, qualifying draw action. And again, we'll get into the serious business, the pool play, the main draw pool play, that is, on day number three. But get ready. Tomorrow will be a repeat of what you saw today. Different teams in action, uh, but more main draw slots at stake. DJ Lass on the ones and twos. MC Noah Lazarus. MC Manimal holding things down. There he is. Last. Those are Olympic fingers right there. He's in his mix like red beans and rice. He's a Frenchman. I'm, I doubt he even knows what red beans and rice are. That's an American thing. Never mind. Last contest. Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Uzbekistan come in with a 22 to 10 win over PNG. Kazakhstan come in with a 19 17 win over PNG. So two undefeated teams. This is an elimination game. Whoever wants it is going to take it and earn their spot into the main draw. So Uzbekistan come out first. The Mirian Turgunov, Semen Midyayev, their big man in the middle. Artur Ovanosev and Farkhad Yosipov in the white and blue. Tough team. Now it's Kazakhstan's turn to be introduced. They got Gleb Zhukov. I think he's the most dangerous option they have on offense. Good size, good shooter. Always on attack mode, playing downhill. Adilkan Marat, sharp shooter on this team. Great slasher. Good rebounder too for his size. Got another shooter here in Dulat, Yeshmuk Ambetov. Yeshmuk Ambetov. And Konstantin Neff. Neff is a versatile player too. Got good size, can move his feet defensively, long arms, rebounder, and he will splash you in the deep end. Make no mistake about it. They are the more sizable, one through four of the teams. 
And size doesn't always translate to an advantage in 3x3. You want to have size and dexterity. That means the ability to move your feet quickly. You want one through four to be able to shoot, defend, rebound. Find a coin flip of day one. Let's get it. Oh, well, got to get that one up off the ground, Vanessa. That's all right. It happens to the best of us. She was like, did they catch that on camera? Vanessa Devlin and uh, Chun Wing Leon. They will do the honors of officiating this last contest. Qualifying draw action from Singapore, day one. What's good? Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice. Yeah, I'm still with you. Yeah, you, you heard me in Poitiers, France. I was just there a couple days ago. Women's Series winners, Germany, shout out to them. Poitiers Challenger winners, Washington, D.C., shout out to them. Prior to that, we were in Antwerp, Belgium for the World Cup. Shout out to all of our, all of our medalists there. About France's women taking gold, French men taking a bronze medal, Lithuania with a silver, and Serbia with a fifth gold. China take a bronze medal for the uh, for the women. Oh, nice dunk. And silver medalist Canada. Can't forget about them. So those were all, all of our medalists at the uh, at the World Cup. It has been busy. Uh, the most busy year that we will have with 3x3. A record number of pro events with 13. And the national events are still very much intact, as you can see. Still got the America Cup on deck. We still got the Europe Cup. And these are huge competitions to the side supremacy in each of these regions of the world. It's all about that Asian persuasion this week. Five days of 3x3 action. Day one is nearly in the books. Okay, countdown's on. This is it. For day Seven, one, six, five, five, four, four three, three, X, three. All right, it's on now. When the final horn sounds, we're gonna know who's gonna be heading to the main draw. Two from the corners, a no-go. Zuko, he will let it fly. Two to your eye, left wing. Mitiev, no, but the big man will track it down. Cross court, Mitiev thought about it again. This time he does release it, got the gooseneck and everything. He does the track down the rebound. Oh, he stepped on the stepped on the out of bounds line. Yeah, Adilkan uh, Marat can't believe it. Uh, I believe official Vanessa. She's got her. Got eagle eyes over there. Oh, that what what a drive right there. How did he get that one to go? Mikhayev. He's gonna get his team on the board at least. Neff. He's hacked. He's gonna step up and get a chance to shoot one. No problem at the line. Neff strokes it. Kyrgyzstan with an early advantage. Long ball. Off the miss. Kazakhstan on the attack, but an offensive foul is called. Foul Blue ball. So, uh, yeah, fresh 12. Mm. 
two. Uh-uh. Nearly wedge it. Ah, turn right back over. A little sloppy. Both teams. Neff will kick it out. Gets it back. Nice ball movement to the corner. That was missile over the rim. Oh, good drive. Yusuf Poe is going to earn a trip up to the line. Shoot one. Buck and a half in. Betrayed at the line, so here's Marat setting up shop, top of the key. Had Neff on the right wing, he decides to swing it left. Amounts to nothing. Yusuf Poe hands it off. They got the three-man weave going as Turgidy hands it off. Step back, Ovanashev. Step forward. Ovanashev now. He's going to let another one go. And that caught the wind from the bay. Score stays where it's at. Marat. He's going to get a screen. They want to set him up for a good look. He misses, and the follow attempt is good, though. Nice follow there. Yeshmuk Hanbeto. Mityaev, the big man, sinks it in the deep end. And then the steal. Great read defensively. Yusuf Poe, high arc on the two release. He's going to check out and think about what he just did. One point ball game. Kazakhstan slightly in front. They're about 30 seconds from getting their first break into action here. Marat finds Zukov underneath for the easy lay. All Turkindy was waiting for the up top. Neff will drop it off, and Zukov puts another cookie in the cup. Kazakhstan with a three point advantage here. Approaching that seven minute mark. Ivanoshev, he lets it fly just a little long, high, high on the rebound. He does not get the scoop. He does get the turnaround off the glass to fall. The drive on the baseline, not a problem. Kazakhstan lead by three. The big man trying to answer. It goes off the iron. Zuko lets it go. Didn't have the right rotation. Tiev to the corner. Man, they are letting the deuces fly. They are wild. The floater didn't have enough float. That ball tied up. It'll be awarded to the defense. It's as good as a turnover. And a TV timeout, 6.23 left in a three-point game. Kazakhstan slightly in front in a play-in game to the main draw. All right, both teams re-enter the quarter play. Kazakhstan ball. Looking to add to this three-point advantage they built through three and a half minutes of play. Neff swinging through. He knew he could get the step, but can he finish it at the rim? He already answered the question before the sentence was over. That's how fast he is. 8-4. Yusupo, he's taking his time. He flicks the wrist, but the stroke was broke. That ball is going to go to Kazakhstan. Marat will swing it. 
two ball corner. No. Neff will track down the rebound. Marat. Ooh. Just hardly missed that one. I hate those as a shooter, trust me. Eight four took his time letting that one go. FaceTime. This ain't no video chat neither. Puts that one in, in the defender's face. As Kazakhstan lead it, eight to six. And an offensive foul. Fourth on Kazakhstan. Two-point game, 531 left. said we'll start the possession. You suppose, jab step, testing the defense. We do this NASCAR fast. Eight, seven. Big two ball. Kazakhstan out by three. Told you Marat was a sharp shooter. The guy looks like a sniper. Turgeny, can he answer back? He wants a screen. He picks up his dribble. So just a tick over that five-minute mark, Kazakhstan. Maybe keeping a three-point difference for the better part of this game. Neff trying to set something up. He wants Marat to set up on the right wing. Let's see what he's got uh, up his sleeve here. A uh, hole. At number two on Uzbekistan. Marat taking his time to set the uh, offense up. That's a foul on the floor. White. Ten seven. Four under four forty to go. This is it, y'all. Final game of the day. Ivanov he wants it back on the left wing. He hit one from there just a while ago. He's shooting again. He's going to have to reload. That one to misfires. Zuko swings through. He's going to attack the rim. And a foul call. The issue is he leaned forward instead of going straight up. That's going to that's get you a whistle that you don't want. And Zuko makes easy work at the stripe. It's a four-point lead for Kazakhstan. White bow. High arc on the two release. No. So new possession as that one goes out of bounds. Big man showing some uh, nimble feet on the baseline. Didn't quite have the touch on the release though. TV timeout. Most teams step aside for just a moment. 3.58, our second TV timeout. Qualifying draw, I. This will be it.
Pretty good action to this point in this final game. It is a playing game, a lot of emotion. So Neff, here he is. He's got 10 seconds to work with. Neff. Oh, and Neff. Try to get fancy with it. Oh, tough score. It's a three-point game. Uzbekistan is not dead yet. I'm telling you. Pull up is no go. 3.30, two go. Oh, back iron, high bounce on the rebound. Neff. No, he can shoot that. Fires the blank that time. Yusupov doing his dance. Left to right, rock, pull up. Nope, too much sauce on it. Neff, has he? Neff says, enough. He gets to the rim in a rush. Oh, right back. Turganov, two-piece, no biscuit. It's a two-point game. Now Marat, the sharpshooter, decides to pass up the two attempt. Try to contort his body on that layup attempt. Cannot make it happen. Now he might be in trouble. Ooh, nearly got a steal there. He needs a breather. Two thirty-five left. Two thirty-five left. Vanessa wants to go over to the scores table and sort something out. It would be the shot clock. Oh, legal screen. Targety guy whistle. Six foul on Uzbekistan. That means they got no more to give. 2.30 to play. Right. Iso game, left wing, little hezzy. Lefty, finished with the scoop. Said, I wasn't gonna wait for you to get ready. No more, oh my goodness. The answer from two range, you suppose. He said, you supposed to defend me too. Yeah, you got me on the drive. I'll take a two for one discount. 13 to 12. Oh, pull up mid range. Gets the friendly bounce. You suppose, doing his dance. Kicks it. Ovano Sev, he's got the step. Ovano Sev, stay up now. Oh, look at the defense though. You suppose with the thievery. You suppose lets it go. That one's going towards the bay. Buck 44 left. Kazakhstan with a two point lead. Take a look at the uh, last couple of buckets in this one. Well, teams opting for the mid-range options instead of the two ball. My guy Clint Owen and Blake, they on the edge of their seats watching this one. They're like, let's go, Kazakhstan. there. Got a two-point advantage. Here's Neff. Got to the rim, some contact on the way. That's number seven on Uzbekistan. Two free throws will follow for Neff. This is a play-in game. I'll remind you one more time.
Oh, free throw. Yeah, it's a first of two. Jump, jumping in there like that ball was in play. Shout out to Melina Mendez, watching all the way from Mongolia. 15 to 12. Yusuf Polk, he's got another gear. He pressed the nitrous button on him and trying to get his team within two. Yusuf Polk. This dude is has cat-like reflexes. That quickness is ridiculous. Mitiaev, he's hurt a little bit. Oh, he peeled his banana. And now Marat. Nope. Offensive foul. Eighth on Uzbekistan. No free throws because it was an offensive violation. But a one point game, 55 seconds to go. Neff, oh, lost the handle on it. It's poked out. Tunnels to the rim. Arat, oh, snatched him. Couldn't splash him, no. Stays a two point contest. It's Kazakhstan using some clock here. They got seven to shoot. Neff with the hezzy move. He's got two to shoot now. He's got to put it up. He does. High arc, front iron, drive, kick, big rebound. And a Nearly got it again. That would have been a huge second rebound when Kazakhstan went in here by two points, 17 ticks to go. But possession will go to Uzbekistan. They could tie this game or I think they should go for a two here. 12 second shot clocks. They don't want to risk not getting it back with enough time. So suppose he'll kick it out. There's the two released, missed, recovered. Followed his shot, Yusupov. Got a good look, Yusuf Poe. Rebound to Uzbekistan for the tie in the corner all day long. He's more clutched in eighth gear. We are going to overtime in the last game of the day. Oh my goodness. He's got the right rotation. Like DJ Lass, that is cash from the corner. All right, take your pick. Versus score two in OT. And the fans, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Team What a finish to the to regulation. And now this one will be decided here in OT. That two released by Neff. He gets nothing on the shot. Now Arthur Ovanaso, the player who just hit that huge two-piece in the corner to send this to OT. He's going to shoot it for the logo, and now he's going to go straight to day three. What a shot. Frigid ice water going through his veins. That is how you cap day one from here in Singapore. 
I told you he was more clutch than eighth gear. He took it to a new gear. And now he's taking his team to the main draw. How about Ovana Sev of Team Uzbekistan? Hand up, so what? How does the leather taste? Just as bad as defeat. The kill shot that will put it away. Uzbekistan, stand up. We'll see him again day three. Wow. <laughs> we don't plan it like this. We don't plan it like this, but it's 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 crazy how the final story plays out from what was a was a wild day, right? All right, let's look at the highlights one last time because uh, again, you knew it was going to be tight. You got two teams fighting for their Asia Cup lives, uh, of course, to move on and play day three. Um, and it was hotly contested, both teams making smart plays, making strong plays at the rim. Everybody elevating their game. Uh, without a question, Artur Ovanasev was a standout in this contest, as was Neff. Neff gets to the rim, makes the tough layup. Ovanasev, a higher gun. He had that thing off safety and he was pulling the trigger at will. Trading two pieces, but a, a four point advantage at this point. And it looked like the game might be changing. Maybe a shift in the tide. Marat using the quick step, the little hezzy, left the defender behind, slow on the closeout. He was made to pay for it right there. 12 13 game with just over two minutes to play. And Neff, he activates the mid range game. That falls. But I credit Uzbekistan for continuing to attack the rim. With under 50 seconds to go, speaking of attack the rim, Kazakhstan doing the same thing. This the shot that was sent to OT. And the same man, he was still shooting to kill. Ovano says, Mama, there go that man. Here are the results from day one of the Asia Cup 2022 from Singapore. Man, it felt like it started an eternity ago. But we, we ran through 22 games uh, on this opening day. We'll, we got a whole nother slate of 22 tomorrow. So get ready. But how about our teams that earn spots in the main draw coming up day three? We're going to show you uh, those pools again after we give you another look at how the day played out. Turkmenistan undefeated. Saw them earn their spot. How about Japan? Man, they look really good today. They started things off with an 11-point beatdown over Malaysia. As they go into the uh, main draw, unscathed, not a problem for them. They uh, wrapped up with an eight-point win over Iraq. We also saw uh, New Zealand get in. All they took was all it took was one win for them. The Syria uh, donated the win because they weren't able to show up. These are the women's standings from qualifying draw C. As I mentioned, Indonesia, uh, by virtue of getting a uh, a forfeit from Iran, uh, they are in qualifying draw E. We saw two qualifying draws in action for the women. So this is it. Turkmenistan. Uh, they earned their way in. And then we look at the men's. Qualifying draw A, mentioned Japan. They are looking good. Tomoyo Chai, the worm leading the way. Malaysia and Iraq come up empty. Meantime, Chinese Taipei. They had an exciting contest against Thailand to wrap the day. Thailand were fighting for their lives, but Chinese Taipei were able to hold them off. Again, I mentioned that uh, Tall Blacks win over Saudi Arabia in a play-in game. They handled business. Kelman Poto and company beat up the competition. We'll see them day three. And qualifying draw G, Qatar. They come from behind in a, in a thriller against Kyrgyzstan. I'll tell you, the last quarter of this day, these were just crazy, crazy games. And then 
the cherry on top of the day. You, we just saw it, the thriller. Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan took overtime to the side. Uzbekistan get it done in OT, back to back two pieces from that guy, Ovanaso. And day one is sold up. So this is the goodbye. Tomorrow we're gonna see uh, the men hoop and draw C, E, F, and H. We'll see the women hoop and draw A, B, and D as we will set our uh, our main draw for day number three. That is it for the day. Yes, I am done talking. Kyle Montgomery, The Voice, saying peace out from day one. We'll see you back here tomorrow, 9 a.m. local. Don't be late.